in today's lecture we would be talking on different ways to improve the education quality and student achievement with outcome based education there are some questions which come in our mind and the answer for which is very essential so how do we promote a culture of quality within the institutions of higher education what do we do so that the elements of such a culture prevails how can a different institution handle such challenges do such institutions require a different kind of leadership or the leaders are the same for such institute who are taking their institute to the highest level of excellence do we need a more decentralized and a democratic style of management now how does one generate a sense of ownership among the staff so that they can be motivated to align themselves to the institutional goals and give their best what resources and training are needed how can we monitor and evaluate and become a part of all the process systems and subsystems of an institute what makes an institute reflect on its practice and commit to a continuous quest for excellence so can we have a use of more ict will it help with the increase of convergence of face to face and odl and e learning systems is there a need to separate the quality assurance mechanisms or are the same criteria applicable to all the systems are quality assurance agencies exclusive clubs what level of credibility have they established what will accredited the accreditors what is the role of individuals in creating the culture of quality what role can best practices and play so these are the questions which are very important for us and the answers are also very important to us so that we are on the journey of quest for excellence and the journey of growth of the institution so here are some answers with the advancement in the technology and the overall growth there has been a constant dire need for improving the quality of education the quality is measured on student learning outcomes now this is the reason why you come across such important notions like improving learning outcomes for the students and we all know that every child has a unique learning experience they feel very comfortable learning at their own pace and it is important for us to understand the impact of learning outcomes for their future and in today's world students are equipped with a vast knowledge about advanced technology and this is the, the the need of today also because of this pandemic the ict enabled technology is the need of today sometimes the students do not pay attention during the lectures and it is because of the traditional teaching methods lack of learning activities disengagement poor interaction and the lack of communications so the teachers should understand the students interest and the need for effective learning and it is very important to figure out what kind of activities they might be interested in learning and the teachers should strive their efforts in that direction only we all know that the ultimate learning outcomes is from the assessment and if the assessment is conducted annually then it is difficult to identify their weaknesses and the strength for the better learning outcomes so there is a need for continuous quality assessment etc sometimes the students do not pay attention during the lectures it is basically because of the traditional teaching methods the lack of learning activities disengagement poor interaction lack of communication and we have to understand that how the students interest have to be developed so it is very important to figure out what kind of activities they might be interested in learning and how we can do the ultimate learning for our students if the assessment is conducted annually so the things will not improve there has to be a system which is continuous in nature to improve the quality assessment of our institutions so improving the learning outcomes by including the technology this is one of the biggest solutions ever in the age of digital world the students can get easily distracted from the learning if the process isn't interesting so initially 5 to 10 minutes they will enter the class they will listen to the teacher 
and eventually slowly and steadily they would like to exit the class or probably they are logged in and uh, they are mentally not present there. So, this is a situation which every teacher is facing today because of this digital world, because of this new teaching learning mechanism, because of the pandemic. So, the teachers have to put a lot of efforts into designing the curriculum in such a way that it enhances their learning outcomes and it was observed that when technology was introduced in the classroom, there was definitely an improvement in the learning outcomes for the students. So, we have to keep the flag high. The gradual change in the teaching methods and incorporating the digital technology in the classroom, it helps in improving the learning outcomes for the students. There are certain ways to improve their education quality also because the traditional education systems are nowadays completely ineffective in providing the students with the relevant information needed to excel in the modern world. So, the traditional education system are even turned off to the modern students. So, nowadays when the students are given assignments, the first question that comes into mind, who can write my essay for me? However, the outcome based education transforms this system into a personalized form of learning and enables the learning institutions to create the instruction model which is customized to the student learning preferences. Outcome based education is therefore growing at a tremendous rate and each institution has a unique outcome based form to learning framework to develop the students who are professionally and socially competent. So, a move to integrate the softwares, tools to complement the outcome based teaching, the learning and even the assignments will have immense benefits for the higher education institutions. It has the potential to improve the outcomes of learning and enhance the rate of continuous quality improvement mechanisms. So, what does improve the education quality in higher education? With the economic growth and globalization, there are debates brewing on how to improve the quality of the higher education institutes. Education programs focusing on better student achievement is one aspect. Focus on career, improve education quality, professional development, top the discussions and here lies the answer. A good high quality education is to do with the outcomes. An outcome is a culminating demonstration of learning and it occurs after the completion of academic program and it is a result of the learning which is very visible and observable demonstration of three main things knowledge combined with competence and combined with orientations. So, it is these three factors that determine the quality in higher education. So, I want to highlight once again the first important factor is the knowledge, the second is it should be combined with the competence and third it should be combined with the orientations. Perhaps these are the three primary, primarily the main factors that determine the quality in the higher education. So, different measures are available to improve the quality education using the outcome based education that is mission, vision and objectives program education objectives, graduate attributes, student learning outcomes, program outcomes, course outcomes, syllabus, unit and lesson plan outcomes, teaching methods, assessment and evaluation tools, customizable rubrics and marking schemes, continuous quality improvement that is CQI, outcome based education and accreditation student success, constructive assignments and presentation of the outcomes with automated mind mapping. So, how can education be improved? The traditional education method does not provide students with the necessary knowledge and the skills and fulfill the performance expectations. Whereas, on the contrary, if you see the other system that is the outcome based education, it definitely helps in such direction, it transforms the education into the personalized learning and enable the education institutes to design instruction models tailored to learning preferences of the students. So, OBE transforms the education into the personalized learning and enables the education institutes to design 
instruction models tailored to learning preference of the students and it is growing at an exponential rate across the globe. Every institution has a unique OBE framework to develop the competent students and to take a professional career after the graduation. All often this knowledge is not efficiently captured and used in the higher education institutes. It is very scattered in documents, spreadsheets, models, people minds and buried in the paperwork. With what if the linking of the curriculum process could be more easily captured in education institutes as a higher education software mind maps that can be processed, it can be activated, it can be shared and it can be reused to create a better learning outcomes. What if there are better ways to improve the education quality? A move to implement the software tools to support the outcome based learning and assessment will benefit in many ways. It will improve the learning outcomes, accelerate the continuous quality improvement process. Here are number of steps which I am going to enumerate which helps in the quality improvement and student achievement using the outcome based education softwares using it in the higher education institute. So let me first give you mission, vision and objectives. The central feature of OBE is modeled to improve the quality education. Thus outcome based education prepares the mapping of the mission, vision and the value system set by the institution with the program educational objectives that is PEOs. Now what are PEOs? In terms of the student achievements, PEOs are assessed for a longer duration and what are the graduates are envisaged to achieve in their career 4 to 5 years after graduation. Now the attainment of PEO is based on the stakeholder inputs using an outline survey questionnaire and this will reveal that the graduates are broadly satisfied with their achievement in all PEOs. Then comes the graduate attributes. The graduate attributes are often known as the key skills, generic attributes, transferable, employability or soft skills. So the curriculum management software allows you to map the graduate attributes to the curriculum design and this is to achieve the desired learning outcomes in the real time. Next is your student learning outcomes which is the focal point of OBE. A learning outcome is what a student can do as a result of learning experience. It describes the attributes of their ideal graduate based on their vision, mission, institutional goals or outcomes and using these as basis for developing the specific program outcomes. The three broad type of learning outcomes are disciplinary knowledge, skills, generic skills and attitude and values. Next is your improving the learning outcomes outdoor teaching. This is perhaps one of the finest methods to improve the quality education uh, in the higher education institutes. Now earlier the education system used to have only the traditional ways of teaching and learning. All the students used to sit in the classroom for 6 to 7 hours in a day attending continuous lectures. But have you ever thought about their mindset towards learning, whether they are able to concentrate or they are interested in listening to the lectures for a longer period of time? The answer is no. And if no, then why it is reflecting in their learning outcomes? So these questions have to be addressed by the teachers to improvise their strategies on providing a better learning outcomes for the students and they should not be forced to sit for longer hours. Have ever you thought about talking lectures outside the classroom? It will be wonderful and it really helps the students to involve themselves with the surrounding environment and you should take the students to the field trips, to the museums, to exhibitions, to small scale industries to conduct classes in the lawns of the school premises and sometimes these small changes of place can help the students to concentrate more on learning and develop the questioning skills. And it is said that the students can open up more in such environment and sticking only to the classroom lectures learning. 
A teacher should adopt the different places or methods which can help them in improving their learning experience and securing the high marks in their exams. So try to adopt these methods as a teacher and observe the changes in their learning abilities. They will become more open to discussion and perhaps perform very well in their exams. So how do we implement it? Conduct the classes outside the classroom, in the lawn, in the garden or any place in the school premises. Take the students for the field trips for different places depending upon the topic what you are teaching them. Allow them to interact outside the classroom for effective communication with you and other students. Allow them to observe the nature, surrounding, places, objects for their effective learning. The next is your program outcomes. The program outcomes are the set of competencies, related knowledge, skills and attitude that all the learners are expected to demonstrate. Now these desired outcomes are mapped to the expected learning outcomes in the specific courses and the desired courses and the learning outcomes are attained through assessment and evaluation tools. The next is your course outcomes and we better call it as COs. The course outcomes refer to the knowledge values and the skills of all the learners which are expected to demonstrate at the end of the course. Learning outcomes are mapped to the course outcomes and the program outcomes. Then comes the syllabus, unit and the lesson plan outcomes. The course outcomes lead to lesson outcomes, create a syllabus, unit and a lesson to link with the learning outcomes of each teaching activity. Now, this will aid not the coherence and cohesion in the student learning. Now moving on to the teaching methods. Teaching methods play a very vital role in enhancing the quality standards of any higher education institute and in achieving the student learning outcomes. Now when you talk about the teaching methods, technology enabled performance demonstration of pedagogical learning through the video lectures, podcast, slide presentation would innovate and enhance the student learning experience. The technology aided teaching methods and assessment would enable the education institute to accurately and preferably map with the targeted outcomes. Now this enables the students and the faculty to work together as a partner towards achieving a visible and a clear goal. Do you think this is the right time to change or reinvent your teaching methods? The answer is yes, for better teaching opportunities for your students. Well, it is very important that you change your teaching methods to improve the learning outcomes of the students and most of the students do not pay attention because of the continuous theoretical classes without inputting any innovation into it. In such cases, they try to divert their attention leading to a poor performance in their exam and what can you do to improve their learning outcomes. So you should conceptualize different methods of the teaching for the students. You can always include learning activities like seminars, debates, extempore, role playing, learning games, case studies, group discussions, etc. So this kind of activity awakens the interest among the students and focuses more on understanding the concepts. And you can also take them from the virtual trips to the different places around the world to teach them for a better understanding. There are many online teaching tools available for the students where you can set up a different activity for them in the class as well as for the homework. Now in this way, they will be concentrating on learning and the information will remain in their memory for a longer period of time. So how do you implement it? Conceptualize the various strategies for the teaching methods. Conduct learning activities in the classroom with the help of the technology or any other material. Focus on the visual learning as they retain information for the longer periods of time than the words. Adapt different learning styles of the students such as visual, oral, social, physical to teach. Now the next method which is available to improve the education and quality assurance is the assessment and the evaluation tools. Now implementing OBE further translates to the quality and the orientation of the faculty members. The core mission 
of teaching is to build the learning competencies online testing assignments quiz puzzles and the evaluation of the courses through a variety of questionnaires for attainment of peos then we have a customizable rubrics and the marking schemes assessment of writing uh, oral communication critical thinking information literacy often requires rubrics automatic rubrics are standardized scoring guides that assist the evaluators to make assessment more transparent easy consistent and objective they even determine the quality of the student work in a very consistent manner then we have a continuous quality assessment now quality in higher education comes with cqi that is the continuous online assessment and evaluation it not only provides the critical information to the faculty and the, and the administrator they also grow and give a real time reports on the effectiveness of the program design delivery and objectives now cqi that is the continuous quality improvement tool based on the digital feedback loops through course faculty evaluations and they are unable and uh, institution to enhance the quality of education and process will continue year after year so you know outcome based education and accreditation is yet another way of enhancement of quality of education in schools higher education is for gaining the accreditation the accreditation management system offers the automated tools which enables the higher education institutes to easily measure the achievement of the outcomes and it also lets an institution improve the quality of the higher education accordingly then we have a student success and uh, definitely structuring the colleges universities higher education institutes uh, which help in uh, maximizing the learning outcomes of the students is a key of obe principle and the next is your constructive alignment it is one of the major factors in enhancing the quality assurance and achieving uh, you know the linking of the learning outcomes with the multiple curriculum elements are a unique feature of obe so you have to map the skills competencies peos pos and cos teaching methods and assessment with learning outcomes foster better student achievement and education quality then we have the presentation of outcomes with automated mind mapping so now the modern softwares offers these automated mind mapping which helps uh, in having the insights of how much student has gained because the students gain a non linear form of outlining with the mind mapping the power of auto generated mind maps represents the way the curriculum elements are arranged classified grouped instantly and easily so this was all about uh, the overall qualities of improvement as far as the obe is concerned